Hello, Cancers. Welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here to do your nightly reading, my darlings. Yay! But tonight, I'm giving you the moon box reading that I promised you, okay? <laughs> um, I do want to start off with the mixed emotions deck, though. I want to see what's going on with your person's feelings, all right? Anyway, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. You know that, right? Just take what resonates, Cancer. Leave the rest. Don't try to force it, okay? And thank you so much, everyone. I love you guys. Man, you show me so much love every day. Thank you, Cancer. Seriously, you're my number one out here. Thank you so much for everything. All of the likes, the subscribes, you guys, thank you, thank you. Everybody new here, hi, I'm Becca. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys are amazing. You're just amazing. All right, so Divine, what messages do you have for Cancer? And then we're going to follow up with the moon box, okay? I promised it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Cancer, your person is in, oh man, they're kind of an emotional wreck right now. Um, they're very worried, okay, because they're about to approach you. Um, this is going to be a pop-up. It's going to be a big surprise. You are not expecting this, okay? And they're feeling very panicky. They're feeling very vulnerable. This is, this, is, this is someone getting ready to come and talk to you, I feel, in person, maybe at your door. Okay, um, yeah, this is their idea, is to come in very quick and talk to you in person. Uh, there's something I feel that you put out there, Cancer. Um, they're receiving messages, or maybe they're right, they could even be writing a song. Uh, they, they're receiving messages through music, through song lyrics, through um, nature, okay? Um, and they're realizing here that this is a, a dream, a wish. They once had you in the palm of their hand, Cancer, and they let you go. And they don't want to let you go. Okay? It's almost like, too, they're grabbing a hold of an opportunity. I feel like you put something out there. And um, you posted something or you said something that maybe they, they feel is an opportunity for them to come forward now. Uh, it's almost like they kind of got, I don't know what you put out there, but did they, they saw something that made them feel like this is, this is the time, right? This is when they're supposed to reach out. Yeah, I feel like this person has waited for you um, to contact them, and you're not, right? I feel like when this person walked away from you, Cancer, um, Ever since then, they thought maybe you would chase them or they thought they would hear something from you and they didn't for the longest time. It's just, yeah, no, there's been no news from cancer. And, it, and this person, they just quite simply can't take it anymore. Okay, um, it's like they're love sick, they're love starved, and they can't take it anymore. So they know they've got to come in. This is something that they're freaked out over. They are, they are so freaked out over this Answer, because you know what? All of a sudden, they're going to show up at your door. Uh, they're just going to give you the surprise visit. You know, they're just going to do it. Okay, um, man, they're panicky, but they can't go on like this anymore. Yeah, I feel like they you look. They respect you, Cancer. Whatever you're putting, whatever you're doing out here, whatever you're putting out. Um, Whatever accomplishments you've made, this person really admires you, okay? Yeah, and they they just want their happiness. They want to come forward and be happy. I feel that they see you as a healer. So I'm feeling the star energy off of this mat. So I feel like you're in the public eye somehow, posting something somewhere. And my guess is it's the internet or social media, or you may even have some kind of platform out here. Um, they're watching whatever it is that you're doing, Cancer, and they admire what you're doing. And I feel like it has something to do with discipline as well, like you're very disciplined, okay? Um, you're very consistent, reliable, responsible. Um, it, this could be something that you do for a job, all right? 
And I feel like there's something healing about you with this comfort here. I feel like you you make them and other people maybe feel very comforted. Uh, there's something about your energy or whatever it is you're doing online. Okay, that's all that I know. That's all I'm picking up on here. I don't know what that is. It's going to be different for all of you, right? But yeah, um, you could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like, yeah, this person, they're disgusted with themselves. They're angry with themselves. Yeah, they may feel stuck in something right now, just wanting to be free. Okay? I feel like that's what's going to end up happening is a tower moment is really what I'm feeling off of this. There's a tower moment coming for this person. Just when they can't, like when they reach their breaking point, in comes this tower. Okay? And I feel like it's going to help this person break free um, from whatever toxic situation that they're in. They could be feeling really sick right now. I've been picking up, too, on somebody who feels nauseous, nauseated, repelled, revolt, and the repellent. Yeah, um, I picked up on that, too. There's something about whoever they chose over you or wherever they are that's making them feel sick. And it could have something to do with um, pheromones. I picked up on that. It could have something to do, too. I felt like somebody is putting something possibly in their food. That's not for all of you, though, okay? Um, I feel like they're just disgusted with themselves because they waited so long on this, hoping you would chase them or hoping to hear from you. But they're empty-handed, and it's turning out to be an unrequited love kind of situation because you are not, in fact, chasing after them, okay? And they waited this out for too long. And I feel like they may have been sitting in a comfort zone here um, in a home situation. That's coming to an end. All this person does is watch you. All they're seeing is watching you glow. They're just seeing you glow, to, uh, making bold moves for yourself, right? Enthusiastic. Um, and look at how they're smiling here. I feel like there's something about... Um, yeah, you posted something here, Cancer. You said something online or gave this person some kind of hint or something that they can approach you. I feel, I'm getting the sense that this is their energy. They're excited here. They were resisting this, resisting this, resisting this, closed off, defensive, pulling back, and then all of a sudden they see something that you've mentioned out here. Or they're watching you, maybe. Um, I'm just seeing them smile, okay? And uh, I feel like, yeah, they're seeing this as an opportunity to approach, but they're freaked out. I don't know what you put out there. But, but it's almost like it's given this person an opportunity, right? That's what that is. An opportunity... If they miss this opportunity, they're going to be very regretful and irritated with themselves. The only thing that would make this person not come forward is their guilt. They don't really want to come towards you with their tail tucked between their legs. They know they're feeling guilty and they're at fault and responsible for um, whatever happened in this connection, okay? Um... I'm feeling like it could have been a third party here because I'm feeling something is coming to an end. The divine is getting them out of something. Yeah, them coming to you kind of with their tail tucked between their legs, it stresses this person out, but they're under extreme pressure right now. I feel like you are starting something new. You're getting away. You're getting away from them, Cancer. And um, they don't want that to happen. They waited, the, they waited this out for far too long. They're in a lot of regret over this. The only, the only thing that they feel they can do is to just give you a surprise visit. 
you know, and I feel like that's what they're planning on doing. The problem here is, is whatever they did to you that they're guilty of, it's broken your trust for real. They don't know if they'll be able to get that trust back. Trust is a huge issue here. They're feeling really sad. Um, I feel like this is who they chose. Or you could have been a good friend to this person. You could have this person's baby. But no, I'm, I'm getting the sense that they're sad because they're losing another. This is that friends with benefits here. That's going down. And they broke your trust. This person's just losing on both sides here. Okay, they're losing a toxic situation that they've uh, used as a comfort zone kind of thing. They've stayed in it for far too long. It's the end to a cycle for that. And, um, and they're losing you too because they, they treated you miserably. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so guilty. They broke your trust. They're stressed out about coming towards you in a lot of regret. This person could be looking at your old photos reading old text messages, doing some crying here, a whole lot of crying, a whole lot of crying, Cancer. Um, sinking into a sad depression. Yeah, they know they can't live like this anymore. And with their dream, you are their dream, their wish. Um, you're getting away, and they don't want that to happen. This person's about to give you a pop-up. It's the only thing they can think of doing. <laughs> That's the only idea they've got, Cancer, is to just show up at your door and hope for the best. That's pretty much what they're going to do. They don't really have a plan, and they're feeling so vulnerable and panicky over this. This person, this is really stressing them out, okay? It's really stressing them out. Uh, but it's about to happen, Cancer, so get ready. Um, all right, so here's the moon box, guys. I'm going to shake it up, and then um, we'll pull your messages, okay? All right. All right. I'm going to sit back. Oh, wow, that's a lot of messages, Cancer. All right. Yeah, they are, I feel like the divine is sweeping out the old so that this person can have a new beginning, okay? That's that tower moment coming, all right? So this is the divine, I feel, at work, all right? This is a, ooh, and their ancestors are involved. Somebody is haunted by this. Um, yeah. Their ancestors, everybody is watching the situation, or this could be them watching you. Yeah, somebody is trying desperately to hang on to this little fuzzy shouldn't be in this. And I feel like this is somebody who, that's a crocodile smile. They're around someone fake who's doing all that they can to hang on to your person. That shouldn't even be like that. <laughs> You know, and that's true. It shouldn't be like that. But I mean, I was talking about this thing here. <laughs> yeah, here you are, Cancer, with the chariot. You're moving on. You're moving forward here. You could be dealing with the Pisces. This, to me, is just somebody who doesn't really know what direction to take here. They don't have a plan, Cancer, like I said. This is somebody who's just going to show up at your door and pray for the best, okay? Okay. That's all. That's the only plan they've got. Um, yeah, see, then th this was coming out in reverse as well. No idea. They have no idea what to do. All right, so what's this? What's this? Some of us have been waiting 12 million years for you. Yeah, they, they realize this is a twin flame soulmate connection maybe or a high level um soulmate connection they realize it they can't stop thinking about you okay so i feel like that's the basis of this reading they they just can't stop this one wants to get stuck on my fingernail so let's read it <laughs> it wants to come out a faster route 
Yeah, a faster route. It says so on the best. Or on the best. Why did I say the best? It says it on, yeah, the best route. That's what they want. The best route, that's the fastest. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, uh, I do have air, uh, earth signs out here now, too. Um, the reason why I say that, Cancer, is because I'm feeling Virgo energy off of this. And I'm thinking, I, I was told somehow they put the word best in my mouth. I don't even know why, okay? Um, yeah, they need some kind of validation here. Okay, so I feel like they're thinking of the best and the fastest route to you. Okay, that tells me that this person's overthinking. That gives me hermit energy, and that's why I say Virgo. They're going to go through every scenario in their head systematically, okay? This is why they need, they need validation, right? What idea is the best way to come to? I feel like this person's just been overthinking this. And they feel like the fastest way to you is to just pop up. It may not be the best way, but it's the fastest way. And I feel like this person doesn't have any time left to get to you because you're moving on so quickly. Um, so they can't overthink this anymore. This person's confused, man. But yeah, I think that's why they made me say best. I don't know why best came out. Yeah, you're on a glow up. You're on a major glow up here, Cancer, and they're seeing it. They're watching you, okay? Every Everything you put out there, they're watching you on this glow up, and they're watching you move forward. So you're having this victory here. The secret. What's the secret? What is the secret? Yeah, see, faster keeps coming out. Faster keeps coming out, guys. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, to get a repetitive word. Now we've got it out here three times, really. What's the secret? This is like a this is a nonstop headache for your person. They're super stressed out. They could be um getting a lot of headaches or somebody has a secret i wonder if it's whoever they're with whoever they're with could have been sending you some bad energy cancer in secret and um now they're su they could be suffering headaches feel like your person is moving way too slow on this they've got to get out of their head They've got to stop overthinking this. They don't have any more time left. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's all. That's all the time that they get. If they don't make a move on this, this connection's going to flatline, I feel. Okay? Um, yeah. They don't have any more time to come up with any bright ideas or think through all the scenarios. Yeah, they've got to take the lead in in this. I feel like they need to they need to take a first step here. They need to get on it. I feel like somebody's been been doing some bad um ju sending you some bad juju, doing some spell work. Yeah, look, this person they're still trying to come up with a different plan because they don't have a plan. Really, they don't have one. They keep overthinking things. They can't um, pick the right scenario, okay? They're not in control. That's why. The, all the divine wants them to do is tell the truth, okay? And a handful of no regrets. Yeah, what idea, what scenario? Oh, my gosh, this person is all up in their head. What, what's going to be the quickest, the best way, right? I need another idea, that I'm not going to regret, okay? Um, they're trying to find the right thing to do. Meanwhile, there's a, I feel like there's a karmic energy over here suffering some karma from all the bad um, juju that they've sent you. Yeah, they just need to get going, the dipper. I also get a feeling that somebody's, somebody was quite the player in the past, okay? That could have been this person. They could have played you. You know, they could have been um, 
it could have been a, like a sexual connection. Yeah, but the divine is like, don't wait, man. Stop overthinking this. I feel like the divine is trying to tell this person to get out of their head. They're, they're being too much of a sloth. They're being too slow. They're not, they're supposed to hurry it up. Don't wait because cancer is getting away. That's where this panic comes in, right? They're trying so hard to think. See, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, you don't have to be, right? This could be um, an air sign that just can't make their mind up too, you know, something like that. But I feel like um, if you're dealing with an earth sign, they like to remain grounded and stable. They don't like to feel vulnerable. The second this person feels vulnerable, they feel like they have to think more about this. And then they overthink. They're going to have to take a first step towards you, vulnerable or not, okay? And this person, is, that's like, that's doing something they're not used to doing. They've never done that before. You know, this is a planner. Choose to stand out. Okay, what is that all about? Dis Self-discipline. I, you know, it's almost to me, you know what it feels like, Cancer? Is that this person has been, they'd, they'd much rather kind of hang back um, and overthink this than to take the step forward, okay? Um, they don't want to do anything that's going to attract the wrong kind of attention to them. Yeah, they don't want to make any mistakes. They're really all up in their head over this. They are so stressed out, you guys. Cool again. Kindness to animals. Um, yeah, I feel like at the same time, they're trying to appease the karmic and keep this thing on the down low. So I feel like they're, they're trying to, yeah, they're doing whatever they can and keep their cool um, in front of the karmic so that they don't know that they're planning to break away and come to you. If you know dinner is going to be successful, that takes away a lot of the stress. Yeah, they don't know what's about to happen. They don't, uh, they, this is a, this, I feel like this is someone who's used to being grounded and stable, and they're completely vulnerable right now. They're afraid of what could happen. They can't plan anything. They don't, they don't know ahead of time if, if this is going to be successful. That's why they keep, it's almost like a, it feels like a toxic loop um, that this person puts themselves in, overthinking this thing. They don't like feeling panicked. They want to come in with a plan, but they don't have one. They don't know what's going to be successful, and that's what's driving them literally crazy here, right on the table. They're going crazy. I mean, geez, dude, get out of your head, you know? Questions to ask yourself before choosing. Then they second-guess themselves, right? Oh, I'm having such a hard time with this, right? Am I doing the right thing? Oh, my gosh. Really? Strategies. Then they kind of, Look, I'm telling you, it's strategic thinking. Then they try to st uh, think up another strategy altogether. This is crazy. This person's going crazy. <laughs> They are. They've got to, I feel like the divine is trying to get this person to move forward. Just take a step. Stop staying in your head. Get out of your head. Stop overthinking and overanalyzing everything. You know, I feel like the divine is saying here, look, we will bring in the justice for you, right? All you have to do is speak your truth. Um, remain balanced, you know, I, this person is just way off balance. Um, yeah, loyalty. I feel like they just need to trust. They need to trust. And this is about loyalty. Who, do, who are they going to be loyal to? I can laugh. Who, who, can be, who can they be themselves with? Who are they going to laugh with again? You know what I mean? Who's got, who's got the best contents? So like, um, 
you, Cancer. I feel like you've really persevered here. With the chariot out here, this tells me you've been through a battle. And you made it out successfully. You're having a victory. You're high vibing. That means you're happy. You're feeling strong, confident, okay? Um, and you're moving forward past that, vic the, that, that battle, okay? I, that, you know what that takes? That takes perseverance, um, integrity, strength. Um, determination, okay, accountability. I feel like you've been through it and you made it out glowing. You're on a glow up, okay. Um, and I feel like those are the kind of contents that this person needs to look at when choosing a life partner. And you've got it. You've got it. I feel like all this karmic over here has is a headache and spell work. That's all that they're. That's all that they're doing. I feel like that's the return of their own bad energy that they've sent you. And you're moving forward out of that, okay? So they have to, this person, they keep second, yeah, who do you love, man? Who do you love? Look at your heart. Look at the kind of person that you're choosing here. Um, you know, Ask yourself, questions to ask yourself before choosing. Yeah, choose somebody who's got all of the qualities you really, truly want in a person, those strong qualities that cancer, you've been unwavering with, okay? Um, yeah, and who is it that you love? The divine is telling this person, man, stop, get over your, get out of your head, stop overthinking this, and just ask yourself who do you love who do you love who's got who do you want to be loyal to who do you want man they're they're trying to get this person to make a decision and take some kind of action they need to get out of their head is really what i'm feeling like here they need to get out of their head yeah they need to have some compassion as well um, and I feel like they need to move on. They need to move on with compassion, all right? I feel like this person just has compassion for you. They know that you didn't deserve the kind of treatment that you got, Cancer, okay? Yeah, so who do they want? Here's the, here's the thing. They, they need to make a new decision here. They need to choose a new path. So... Who, would, who is it that they want? Who do they want to be loyal to? Okay. Do they want somebody? I feel like the compassion could be your energy, Cancer. And then um, over here with this karmic, they have the world's most demanding. So do they want somebody who's demanding and who's trying to keep them stuck and who's sending bad energy? Or do they want Cancer who's been through a battle needlessly, right? Wrongly, right? who's got all of the contents that they need in a life mate, okay, and who shows compassion for other people. So this person has a choice to make, and there really isn't any comparison here. I feel like one is sending bad energy and suffering from it, and they're extremely demanding on your person, or there's you, Cancer, the loving one, uh, the one with compassion, right? The, the healer, the one that's moving on and leaving this person's life. They don't have time to keep overthinking this. I don't think at this point, um, they're not going to get a perfect scenario. They're not going to get a perfect opportunity. They're not going to get a perfect sign from you. This person needs to, I feel, take that step, that blind leap of faith. You know, I feel like they do. I feel like they need to take a leap of faith, listen to their heart, choose who, they, who they're in love with, right? Who do you love, right? And go for it. They need to get out of their head. All this person is doing is wasting time overthinking. Um, I feel like they're doing that because they're desperately trying to find another way to approach besides just showing up at your door. Okay, this is like I said, this is somebody who 
I feel like they don't want to take any more chances. They want to be stable and grounded. They want to be sure um, of where they're stepping, right? So they're overthinking it, trying to find the perfect scenario, and there isn't one. That ship has sailed. So, yeah, I feel like um, they're, the divine is going to make this person take that first step. I, I really feel like they're, they're going to eventually see that um, there's no other choice but to just do it. Okay, and that's why they're out here worried, because they know that too. So I feel like expect a pop-up visit, Cancer. Okay, you're not going to be expecting this, and this person is going to be so stressed out. Okay, just so you know. They're going to probably act way different than what you know of them. Okay, because I don't think, you're, I don't think you've ever seen this person this stressed out. So, oh. Sorry about that, Cancer. My, <laughs> I looked over and my camera was, the screen was just black. So I don't know what just happened, but <laughs> we'll never know, Cancer, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, Cancer, just know, this person, they're about to pop up. They don't have any more ideas. The Divine's not going to let them keep staying in their mind about this. Um, so yeah, and just know this is, I feel, a twin flame soulmate connection, okay? Um, I feel like this is something that your person's being led to, they're led towards you, Cancer, because, um, they're supposed to make some things right in this lifetime, all right? Uh, but they've got to get out of their head. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps you guys. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.